Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Yemi. Just researching that one plant, you know. Hello and welcome to my channel, Yemi Show. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, double welcome. Thanks, super thank you to all those who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe as you'll be helping me. So today, I'm going to be making a super healthy drink, which has a lot of health um, benefits. Um, can you guess the drink I'm going to be making from the dress I'm wearing? Ta -da! I'm going to be making Zobo. Zobo is also a drink made from hibiscus leaves. Super simple, super easy, straight to the point. So I'll be teaching you how to make um, Zobo. I also will be telling you about the super health benefits that you can be getting from these Zobo leaves or hibiscus leaves. So come with me as I teach you how to make Zobo. So special thanks to Auntie Ronke who gave me her recipe. I'll be showing you that recipe today. So you'll also be seeing a short clip from Auntie Ronke from our teaching session. Take care. See you. So that is Auntie Ronke showing me how to make Zobo. So I'll be making Zobo in one of my future videos. Auntie Ronke, can we see your face? So thanks to Auntie Ronke for showing me how to make her wonderful, wonderful Zobo. Zobo. Oh, you can see the Zobo there. It's so sweet, man. I just took some with my smoothie this morning. Lovely. Mwah. Thank, Thank you, you, Auntie Ronke. Thank you. To make our hibiscus or zobo drink, I'll be adding two cups of the zobo or hibiscus leaf to the pot and I'll be adding water. Also, I would add cloves, which is locally known as canaforo. In this video, I actually forgot to add it earlier. I, I added it later after it had come to um, a boil. But you can actually add it right um, at the beginning. I'll be showing you the cloves when it is added to the pot. I'll be leaving the pot to boil for about 30 minutes. This is to ensure that all the colorings from the zobo or hibiscus leaf is out. There I'm adding the, the canaforo or cloves. So I'll be leaving it in the pot to boil for 30 minutes. And after that, I'll be taking it off the pot and allow it to totally, totally cool down. So I would like to quickly run through the health benefits that we can get from the Zobo flask, which we use for the Zobo drink or the hibiscus flour as it is known in English. So this um, hibiscus flour or Zobo is normally used for treating high blood pressure and high cholesterol. It is also helpful in lactating mothers to increase the production of milk for their babies. So this is what a lot of people actually use, you know, this um, Zobo plant or hibiscus plant for. So it's for high blood pressure. It has been shown to be very very effective it shows that um drinking this um, zobo hibiscus tea for two to six weeks decreases high blood pressure by a small amount in people with normal or high blood um, pressure it has been shown to be as effective 
at some medications that are used in treating high blood pressure. There are also insufficient evidence to show that this Zobo can reduce the blood cholesterol. It has also um, been shown to be effective in treating urinary tract infection. It has been shown to be effective in treating uh, common colds. People use it in controlling obesity. It's also been shown to help constipation. It helps um, those with other forms of, you know, heart diseases. It helps in fluid retention in the body. It helps when you have um, irritated stomach. It helps to relieve that. It helps when you have loss of appetite. It also helps those that suffer from nerve diseases. But please note, more evidence needs to be gathered on these claims. Also, the possible side effects which you might get from taking any product from hibiscus or zobo is um, you might have um, upset um, stomach or pain, you might have gas, constipation, nausea, painful urination, headaches, ringing in the ears or shakiness or these are very very rare and uncommon so continuing with our zobo drink preparation after the mixture has cooled down and has been sieved as we have done we're going to add our flavoring and our sweetness and preservative to our mixture so there i'm adding vanilla extract and pineapple to give it a lovely aroma i'm adding a tiny bit of preservative and some sweetness I probably would do without the sweetness or the preser that particular preservative next time. Um, I'm adding this um, fruity sweetness to them. They're actually fruit, um, um, fruit um, powdered mixtures that we can make into drinks on their own. So I'll be using that as my sweet now. I would add a couple to it to, and I would test to find out if it is um, sweet enough. And that is really all in the preparation of our Zobo. So I'm just checking for the sweetness. If it is sweet enough, that is all. If it's not, I will add more of my fruity sweeteners or fruity powdered um, powdered um, drink to it so you can say i added another one for the pineapple um, flavor the pineapple sweetener you can add sugar if you want but for me it is optional because the drink mix which i am using is actually very very sweet so i won't be adding sugar so I will just um, bottle my Zobo drink, which is ready, and freeze. So that is all for preparation of our Zobo drink. So I'll just bottle them and put them 
in the refrigerator or as my own case i'll put them in the freezer because i want them to cool faster so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you have also learned something from making a zobo drink today so thanks for watching and hope to see you in our next video please subscribe if you haven't take care and god bless bye